Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool recon framework which is named as Recon FTW. So the main aim of this tool uh, is to perform automated recon while doing some sort of bug bounty related or some pen testing related stuff. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. guys first of all really really thank you for all your support if you want to connect with me personally you can check out my twitter and if you want to part of uh, this channel community if you want to take part of this channel's community you can check out my discord server all the relevant links in the description below and you will even find the link for this tool also in the description below so make sure to check that out so coming to this tool so recon ftw is like one of the good tools so it's a framework it's not a tool a framework in the sense like which consists of some set of tools so that is what you call a framework so there are a lot of tools and it consists of it performs a lot of functionality like it do OSINT stuff it do some sub domain enumeration some web related enumeration vulnerability checks and some stuff like that and in order to make a uh, this tool run so you need to install a lot of other tools so like you don't need to do that manually okay so there is a script here so installation script and it works fine so coming to that so the op the usage is like uh, the options are like pretty limited so you can provide a domain like if you have any list of domains you can provide with hyphen l so if you have multiple targets like you can provide them and some stuff like that and keeping the test side so there are a few modes like hyphen r for the recon so it do the full recon process like without attacking okay like into subdomain enumeration and stuff like that and if you only want to look for the subdomain so hyphen s and if you only want to do passive scans like hyphen p i'll show you all these guys no need to worry i'm just giving a quick uh overview kind of thing and if you want to do osint hyphen n so and some stuff like this. so this tool acts like uh, a multiple tool like you can if you want to implement it in the bug bounty you can do that if you want to do this uh, for like uh, uh what you call or like your uh, OSINT part, you can do that. So you can use this tool for like uh, anything. And the target should be web here, okay? So previously we discovered or we use some tools which are uh, targeting a person. But here uh, you can target like only websites here. So websites or domains or whatever you can call. And uh, the usage of this tool is pretty simple. So what are the tools it has? Like uh, some tools you can even go through them. So these are like well-known tools only, but some of them are some different tools also. So that's fine. So you can see the mind map as well, how this uh, tool actually works. Like uh, OSINT, what are the tools it's going to check for? any password leaks and stuff like that subdomains and then web enumeration of web enumeration in the sense like screenshots like uh firewall detection and using some nuclear scanner and some stuff like that and you can even configure it with your uh, for your telegram or slack or discord so that you'll get notifications once it's done so there is a detailed guide for that i'll do let you know like i'll mention the link for that in the description below you can do check that out so that is being said let's do so let's copy the url uh, this is my Kali, so I'm going to open it as a root. So you can do it on your or uh, like Kali as well, but it's fine. But I like doing it on root, so that's fine. So uh, git clone and just paste the URL. So and all the credit goes to the developer. So six to days. So this is one of the good tool, and most people use that. Uh, who uh, and to the bug bounty and stuff. So all the credit goes to the developer uh, who is six to days. So he developed some other amazing tools as well. You can go check that out. And if you end up liking this repository, so just start this repository or just uh, show some uh, some love to this guy. Okay. So yeah. So that being said, you can see in the meantime it's downloaded. So it's like one fourteen MB. Uh, the repository is like one fourteen MB. So it will take some time uh, depending upon your internet connection. So let me do an ls here. So you have a file called as recon ftw. So uh, directory called as recon ftw. Sorry. Uh, uh, recon ftw okay so uh, once you go there so you have a file called as install.sh so first of all you need to run this thing okay so you cannot run this recon ftw.sh by default cause like uh, you know as i told you this is a framework so it requires some other tools to in for install so if you run this install.sh so it is going to install all the stuff so dot slash install.sh if this doesn't have any executable rights or stuff like that so give chmod plus x and install.sh and even for this as well okay so no issues at all and also you'll find a detailed guide on how to install this okay so you can see uh, you go to the directory you go there and you run the tool that's it pretty simple so let it take some time and i'll meet you back once all the installation packages are done and
and guys like it took some like 10 to 20 minutes for me and it installed like so many tools here so you can see uh, there are some golang tools like 37 golang tools and there are some repositories okay so most of them are for like uh, used for different purpose so you can if you want to know more about those tools you can just search on the google and you can go to that repository and you will find out what they are all about and you also download some required files and if you want to set up some configuration files like api keys and stuff so these are the files uh, these are the locations where you can find that out so you can go through there and you can add your api keys and stuff like that for this video i'm not going to do that but if you want to like api keys in the sense like you'll have more functionality here so you can do that and it is done so now that being said so let's run this thing so dot slash recon ft dot sh and uh, hyphen hyphen help so that's the first option that we basically run so ribgen is like uh, not installed okay so if you get any sort of like problem like anything like uh, anything not working or anything like that so you can uh, uh, manually install them or uh, you can run this install script once again but that's being said like uh, this tool uh, if you feel like one or two tools are not much useful for you then you can just uh, ignore them okay so so now uh, let's go and run a small uh, small scan on uh, rapid okay uh, rapid7.com and i'm going to do like let's go to the configuration like this file uh, this repository sorry and you can see there are a few uh, scans here so recon scan so let's go and uh, use hyphen r recon scan and hyphen v okay sorry so i think option v is not useful okay so like you will get some few issues guys like uh, installing some tools like uh, finally remember to set the tools variable okay so like if it's not work like you can try to install that manually as well okay it, it won't be an issue okay so now uh, you can see uh, it's uh, we, we set it up the target and you can see it is searching for the domain info so domain info in the sense like who is look up what are the emails and some stuff like that okay and it is going to take some time guys okay so this is a framework so it uses multiple tools so hence it uh, has lot like it have some like uh what you call it's going to take a lot a lot more time okay and i used an option hyphen v uh like in the past like i thought like hyphen v for the verbose but if you have like multiple vps like uh, uh like different uh, vps kind of thing you can uh, use that and it uh like it doesn't load up only your machine okay so some and also guys the scan results are saved in this location so recon ftw since we are doing a recon scan uh it is available in the recon directory so rapid7.com so you can go through there and if you do an ls you have like few information here like subdomains and stuff like you can uh, uh you can use that for your reports and some stuff as well so this is a really cool feature okay so if you want to give any like your uh, personal location you can use hyphen option o okay and guys this scan takes a lot of time you can see it is finding out the information and you can see the location where it is also going to save and uh, let it do uh, let it complete and i'll show you other usage options as well so you have like options like r for like recon so it's like a full recon process so it takes time so subdomain so if you want to only check for the subdomain information hyphen s is an option if you want to only passive scan like uh, uh, osint and some stuff like that hyphen p and uh, one good option is hyphen n to perform only osint scan and if you want to perform any custom options okay like hyphen c and you can give some names like uh, sp ac and something like that okay so some other stuff like that and coming to that so help option and something like that and you have some other options here rate limit okay so this is a good option so if you are uh, requests are getting timed out so you can increase the limit okay so that uh it uh, won't like you can decrease the limit sorry so that uh it doesn't get blocked or some stuff like that and deep scan uh is like a complete scan okay so it's like slow pretty slow it does all the scans and also hyphen a so it is it performs all the recon scan okay everything it does uh, it even perform the attacks as well so there are few tools that we install uh, which checks for sqli and xss and stuff like that and even checks for that and also one good thing is like you can provide multiple targets as well like if you have like multiple targets like for example rapid 7 is here in my case but you, you can go with some other domains like microsoft.com or apple.com or like can add more domains but i think there is no much practicality for that okay so most of the time we only fix for one target and then we work and that's how it works 
so if you want you can include the subdomains list as well so uh, there is some few help options here you can do and check that out and this tool is really cool guys okay so i've been recently using that and if you want to know what uh, like how these uh, how these uh, scans are working like uh, for example what is how this OSINT is working so you can see there is information like how it is finding the domain information through the help of who is nms emails the harvester email finder and these are some tools that uh, these our framework is using so i hope you like this video okay so i cannot show you the full scan cause like it is taking a lot of time so i left i paused the video for like an half, half an hour uh, roughly near to an hour but still the scan is taking time okay so that that's the reason i'm going to quit this video right now but uh, you guys can try that out okay so on any domain so for example uh, if you are choosing looking to do on any bug bounty program this weekend or anyway you can use this tool and you can find out a lot more possible information like automated information and uh, in one go so that is it guys for this video if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff like bug bounty or and stuff this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you